Hi guys, Lindsay here with Starbuck Family Farm. So I've been meaning to do this project for quite a long time actually, and it's just been this week when I finally made the time to be able to do it. Um, so one thing that we've been wanting to do and been meaning to do for several months now is to actually expand the goat pasture out this way towards the pine trees just a little bit further. So we can't go too far over that way because the pine trees just past uh, like the first row of them is actually where the property line is on, on our land. Um, so we couldn't go too far that way, plus we needed to make sure that we still had access to walk back um, through the woods over in here, so that way we could go back to the end of the property and then gain access to the rest of our woods. Um, so while this may seem like an insignificant amount of a pasture expansion, it is absolutely crucial that we did this. Um, so as you guys know, we only have two acres here, so when you're on a smaller plot of land, which, you know, two acres is bigger than some people have, you know, I'm not ungrateful for it, except for... The two acres that we have, only about three quarters of it is actually cleared enough that you can do much of anything. Well, three quarters of an acre of it. Um, over an acre of it is a very steep hillside with woods on it. So it's very difficult to try to run pasture up there, to run fencing, to plant anything, to try to grow anything. Plus there's a lot of deer in this area, which makes it good for hunting, but it makes it very difficult for raising livestock. So this area here that I expanded the goat pasture into, which Lucky has obviously started discovering that there's a whole bunch of treats and goodness over there. Um, on this side here, it expands out, I would say probably 15 feet. Um, and then going this way here, it is, I think about 30-ish feet. So everything with, the, with this land is very much really wonky fence lines for the goats back here because there is the mega trash pile that was left here before we got here that I just literally fenced around it because there's only so much you can pick up and I don't want the goats to be exposed to a lot of sharp glass um, since that's evidently what the cool thing to do is just throw broken glass everywhere. But So this area in here, it probably gives the goats about another 200 to 300 square feet of pasture space, which is pretty huge. Um, each Nigerian dwarf goat, if you look up on the internet how much space they need as minimum requirements, is around about 100 to 200 square feet per goat. But when you're giving them just a small amount of space like that, you have to provide them with everything that they're going to eat. Which gets very expensive with hay prices being anywhere from 5 to $8 a bale. And right now with the 8 goats that we have, plus 6 babies... Um, with the goats that we have right now, we're going through a bale of hay a day, which is really expensive because on top of that, the mamas are also getting grain. So then that way they can have, you know, an ample milk supply. Oh, now Bonita's figuring out the opening here to go in with Lucky. And there's Winston. He's a little, little slow to the, to the punch here, but that's okay. Um, so every little bit with raising goats helps tremendously. Plus, what is growing in this new expansion area of their pasture is really good stuff for them. Like this here, this is a small elm tree, which that'll be gone by tomorrow, I'm sure. And then we have a lot of black raspberries that are in this area. There is some poison ivy, and there is also some, um, like some ragweed and just some different things like that, which is all stuff that the goats absolutely love to eat, and it's really good for them. It also saves me a lot of time that I don't have to then go up into the woods every day to then pick and harvest them some different parts of like um, multiflora rose branches and one of the babies one of the babies has realized that his mama is gone so that baby over there the little black one that is Bonita's son which Bonita is just over here alongside of the new pasture so he's clearly he's clearly a very smart cookie to realize just now that his mama is missing. Um, but so doing any little bits like this actually helps tremendously with the feed bill. It also gives the goats some new exciting things to explore. So then that way they're much more content and much happier. Um, it also helps their rumens and their guts and that sort of a thing to have a lot of fresh brows that they can have. Because honestly, in their pasture that they have now, there really isn't much left. So there is some jewelweed in this area, which they will eat it eventually, but it's definitely not their favorite. Um, and beyond that, it's pretty much empty. When we first got this place just under a year and a half ago, this whole area back here was completely filled with blackberries and black raspberries and multiflora rose bushes. So all the thorny things and the goats have obviously decimated that because you don't have anything in here now. But so... Eventually, I'm hoping that we can expand the goats up the hillside some 
but I'm not really too worried about doing that right yet because, well, it's almost bow hunting season and I don't want to ruin our hunting. So back in this area here, which is back towards the back of the property here, uh, there's a lot of deer activity that actually runs through this area here. So I don't want to screw that up for us because last year we did not get a deer. Um, so I'm hoping that this year we can because that is how we feed our family. That is also how we have red meat throughout the year besides duck. So eventually we might end up with having enough pasture space. That we can raise some of the goats to not just be for milk, but to also be for meat. But we are not there right now. So I definitely don't want to expand their pasture area too much into the woods because for one, running fencing in the woods is really difficult. Running fencing uphill is even more difficult. Driving in fence posts where there's tons and tons of really big pieces of sandstone is also very difficult. So I'd much rather just sort of bring them out this way more and, you know, hope for the best. But eventually, they'll definitely get expanded. But for right now, this is more than enough space for the ones that we have and the two babies that we're going to keep. Um, so they'll, they'll definitely be content munching along all of this stuff and knocking it all down. So... Anyways, that's it for me today. I have a whole list of things I have to get done today. So I'm going to cut this off here. So anyways, thanks for watching. Have a good one, guys.